Wow. This wants to show up again with the attraction, um, getting to know each other. So this is a lot about, I feel what you've learned about yourself. You've learned a lot in this period about your, your feelings, about you and your desires. So let's see what's coming in for you. How many are you? I need one more. So get into this high vibe, maintain it, Capricorn, because I feel like this is really a setup for good things and also just finding more inspiration in life, you know, and I knew it. I felt that energy. So healing family issues. This is the healing. This is why I say the healing you've been doing, the retreating and all of what you've been receiving here your love life benefits as you forgive your parents a lot of you is forgiving the past um what you didn't learn what your parents may have not shown you because it doesn't have to be mistreatment from parents but seeing you know some of you maybe did not have the ideal family dynamic and you're learning as you go but this is the card i was feeling a lot right playfulness right to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine this spirit you're gonna embody is going is changing you're you're changing your spirit it's youthful it's fun it's playful it's it's vibrant, you know, so trust the process, right? The situation is calling for you to have faith. There's a lot and keep an open mind. So definitely a lot changing your vibrations, changing the way you perceive things is changing. You're more open to a new way of things. Um, let's get more into this read. Capricorn your money's good I, I feel like again a strong nine of Pentacles so you guys just really been establishing your roots here you know you Capricorns understand longevity and commitment to creating something that's long term so let's see what we've got here for you Capricorn love it wow a, a, an ace already with the ace of that's triumph and success you will get it this is what this is about. The rest, of course, Four of Swords, rest and rejuvenate. This is what we've been talking about for a while now. So let's see the sun, the light, the vibrancy, your spirit embodying more light in you is the goal here. What do we got? Suffering and silence, the Nine of Swords. So obviously that has come up in prior reads for you, but that's part of the cycle and you you capricorn that's what the rest is so this new beginning this rest and rejuvenate this retreat we've been talking about for a while this was because you were setting yourself for success ace of swords we also have the lovers yep you're going to get a harmonized connection here and this is about what you're going to attract but the lovers for me always six has also been um was big in the general read so about harmonizing yourself harmony which the focus the word here is harmony which again energetically balancing yourself justice was a big thing and that's what i feel discontent and boredom obviously adjust, addressing these issues head on about our emotional states but also a, a level of gratitude um and then authority very strong in, in, um emperor energy here so this is your intentional i just feel you're intentional and you're standing strong and whoever is going to balance you 444 four, four, that's spirit protection but it's a grounded energy so you're founding in this four of swords this rest and and recharge you're finding a lot of balance in yourself which is you're coming out more stronger from this again sun in the bottom so this is a lot of illumination enlightenment um recharge rejuvenation here so let's get more on this ace of swords why the ace of swords so a lot is going to be going on here. Two of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. There's a lot of things going on. So you're going to be busy bodies. A lot of you could be work. You're balancing a lot of things because now you're really, your focus has shifted. 
And as you've made changes in your life with this Eight of Wands, that's what's brought in this Ace of Swords breakthroughs, change and taking initiatives also in attacking them. There's going to be a balancing effect with that, with the Two of Pentacles. But I also feel you're exploring your options, right? This is where you're keeping your mind open with the Two of Pentacles. You're exploring things. You're not really narrowing it down yet final, but you're leaving room for flexibility is what I'm feeling. That's where the lightness comes in. And then keeping the open mind because this is about expectations also. So give me more of these Four of Swords. My goodness. I'm gonna put these back because I didn't feel them. Give me more of these Four of Swords. You know, it's funny because I just saw Hermit in reverse. So that means a lot of you are just coming out of this little hiatus probably on the meantime. What do we got here? The sun, again, justice, I knew it, and the star. So this rest really helped you recharge Capricorn. And this is good. And if for those of you who are not ready to come out entirely, you know, preserve. That's okay because... You're, you're becoming your best version, the star. You're becoming the best version of yourself. And that's where your focus is. And that, again, will um, uh, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. So you're shining your inner youthful spirit, your star qualities, the things that make you the best version of you are, are rested and they're shining and you feel good. And it's really an energy of like, okay, recharge you reboot here i am i needed this time i needed this restful time because i needed to come back and love myself so let's see the six of cups i mean the lovers harmony why the harmony four of swords <laughs> i mean so spirit is just repeating here right we have the four of swords here with justice which is why i said harmony reminds me of that general read we did where justice was a theme for you and here we go with this four of swords with harmony again so this is justice your rest time your self-care your 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 balancing your reboot your recharge so definitely a lot of that you had to just do a lot of grounding with the fours four of swords showing up again so four grounding was a very important energy for you okay more of this four cups wow talk about fours now we have four of pentacles so this took time here with the knight of pentacles right so four of swords four of pentacles you had to kind of take a step back and i also feel this had to do with figuring out giving yourself time to release attachments to expectations again and being upset, you know, figuring things out all over again, or just setting the tone different, but giving yourself time, because sometimes Capricorn, it's like a little morning stage we need in order to release expectations. So you allowed yourself that, you gave yourself that time. Um, let's see this Emperor energy. I love it. And this is your change. Wheel of Fortune. So now you've balanced, you know, you're clear, you're intentional. And this is why um, things work in your favor, Capricorn, because this is faded. Wheel of Fortune. It's, it's, it's you time. And Four of Wands wants to pop out. So I'm going to put it out because I do feel that. I do feel a balance here. We're going to clarify again this Wheel of Fortune. A lot of fours, a lot of grounding and, and celebrating for wants things coming into full circle. Yeah, look at that. Another 10. So the Wheel of Fortune represents the 10 of swords, which we had the sun and the nine of swords in the back. So you're dropping that mental burden and it just brings about change. So this is kind of a new cycle for yourself mentally, too, where you're just going to take charge. Let me get another one for this Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Wands, yep, igniting your passions. You need a time to, you know, build that fire up again to look at things with fresh eyes. 
is what I'm feeling with this. You know, have a little more of um, the Knight of Wands is impulsive, right? We're not used to impulsivity. I think you're. Uh, this is the flexibility that you're leaving room for with the Two of Pentacles here. So you're leaving room for being flexible with things that are more impulsive, that bring you more joy, that don't limit you, but that also that you know still brings you this long-term progress that you're 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 yearning for you want you desire i know this is supposed to be a love read here um capricorn but it never feels that way because i feel i mean obviously things are going to turn out for you in love clearly but i feel you've just kind of been focusing so much on this energy and it doesn't mean that there isn't a love interest around you but they're just not in the forefront in my readings because the focus, your energy is the influence of who you're going to be with, really. And you're very vibrant, Capricorn. And you guys know how to bring in good people anyways into your life. It's just something, it's a Capricorn trait. It's one of your pluses. So let's see what the blockages are. So we have tears. This situation will bring you to tears run. I feel this has to do with the stress whatever was bringing in because that was the blockage right so maybe a lot of you this is where you had to take this rest and whatever it was you had to run from it for a little bit and recharge and allow yourself to trust again in in the process again recharge bring in this sun in you so let's see um, more lessons. What are more lessons for Capricorn? Yeah, detours, divine intervention, delays and detours. So this is a detour. This has been for a while. And that's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. It's, it's, it truly is a shift. You're, you're shifting. And this is why some of you who are not ready to come out of this four of swords because you still want to preserve that's also okay because spirit is saying this is a detour divine intervention delays and detours it's just a, it's a detour and you need to take your time out and still ground ground is big here so let's see what's your other guidance passion yeah that's exactly what i feel with this knight of wands here passion there is a burning fire inside of you waiting to come out time to get creative and work on what brings you joy and happiness doing what you love will give you energy and will attract like-hearted people to you that's exactly what it is you're now gonna like i was telling you capricorn you know once your energy is good you always attract good people capricorn is one of your best traits you always attract good people into your life so this rest was to kind of recharge reboot and now it's going to bring in better soulmates because you did, did that for yourself and then this knight of wands is the flexibility because it's actually like a, a reigniting of energy a new charge in you with this eight of wands where you're busy but finally feeling better about i feel like you're you're finally feeling better about things and whatever creative juices are in you or just even the most simplest things of just feeling good if this is your season to feel good then this is the, this is the season to work um because guess what there might be another season coming up down the line to come back and rest capricorn to recharge and reboot and i think this is part of learning yourself to capricorn where you're realizing i need a lot of um recharging stages in my life and that's when you rest those are your winters where you do more rest and soul searching and kind of love self-care and then there are going to be these periods where like, oh my God, I'm charged up. I have burning fire inside me. I'm waiting. I'm ready to get out and do and do and do and do. And then that season, that is the season for that time. So um, Capricorn, this is your read. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.